All right, uh, Nick, this video is for you. I have your quad finished up. It is the BQE Bandolero. I've done quite a few of these now. It's, it's a pretty popular frame because it's just so nice. I mean, it's just such a nice frame that you can't help but want one. Oh, I gotta unplug that. Uh, um, sorry, I'm just trying to clean up. I'm such a freak about stuff that I have to like, seriously, like my mat, sometimes people will be like, how do you keep it so clean? And I'm thinking to myself, well, if you only knew that I will clear it off and wipe it down with wipes like twice a day <laughs> because I'm just a freak about this stuff. Like little specks of solder and shit. I can't have that stuff on my mat at all. I will freak out. Um, partly because if I start a new build and I put motors up here, all those little solder beads, they'll just suck right up into the magnets of the motors. Anyway, sorry. Um, here it is. This thing turned out so nice. Uh, and one thing I want to say is that, so for the Bandolero, you get that, uh, it's like a military green, that BQE. Uh, ships with their stuff. It's it's uh, just that one color that they have, you know I mean, it's not that that's all they have. I don't know why but that's just what all their TPU parts are is that dark green but uh, you might notice that These parts are not green They're black and that's because I took a sharpie to them <laughs> So you can't really tell actually I might need to go over this a little bit more with the sharpie, but I think I did a pretty damn good job around this edge. Uh, it, it turned out pretty nice, I think. The uh, the GoPro mount and this this uh, axi holder and antenna holder that those were already black because I ordered those from uh, Brain 3D and the arm protectors. Those were printed in black TPU, all that stuff. But uh, the camera mounts, the GoPro mount underneath. The GoPro mount, the little sled, uh, and this bottom piece, they were all green that I sharpied black. So it actually turned out pretty decent, I think. Uh, you got this purple camera up here. This is a really good camera. It's the Sparrow 2 with the M12 lens. And uh, this is a great camera. That's why it's still around and it's still like 45 bucks or whatever pretty good cam and it just happened to match everything perfectly um, besides that you have the T motor F60 Pro 3 2500 kV motors some of my favorite motors um, the shaft is sticking up a little bit past the lock nut and that's only because these are not the stock lock nuts the stock lock nuts are a little bit taller but it's not a big deal it's not gonna make a difference um, what else you have for your stack you got the t-motor stack so you got t-motor motors t-motor stack uh, it's the f4 with the f45 amp v2 so it's got that nice blue glowing led coming from underneath it and you have a unify pro race 2 right there i did unlock it and i set it to 400 milliwatts and on this side you have a XSR M that I wrapped in heat shrink bind button is right here I'm touching it right now clicking it right there so very easy to access that so you're just gonna hold down that bind button while you're plugging in the battery wait a couple more seconds then let go of the button and you'll see like two solid red LEDs um, probably coming from this side I, I don't remember but then you'll hit bind on your radio d16 mode and uh, as soon as you do one of the red leds will start flashing and then wait about five seconds hit bind on your radio again unplug the battery plug the battery back in and then it'll be bound up uh you got an axi mmcx you got some purple antenna tubes thanks Alyssa. <laughs> And I think that's it. You got a, a cap. I put a cap right here. 
Uh, I did have the battery strap in the back, but I moved it because it was kind of close to the prop. So I figured this was the best spot right kind of in the middle where it's not anywhere near the prop. And I think that's about it. So it's already bound up to my radio. I will uh, grab a battery. Throw a battery on here, we'll show you the video. We'll do a little hover, get this shipped out. Well, it's Saturday, so I won't be shipping it tomorrow, but <laughs> Monday. Let's see, I'm trying to think. Oh, I guess that'll work like that. Okay. Yep, that should do just fine. Make sure it at least flies. Damn, yeah, it's flying nice. It's got some power too. Damn, I love those 2500 kV. Uh, you might have noticed the LED too. I added a LED inside the little thing because I'm like, you make this clear piece that comes with the frame, so you got to put something in it. So it's going to glow pretty nice. Especially if you don't have it on Larson Scanner. If you just have it on a solid color, it's going to glow the whole piece. You know, it looks pretty sweet though. All right, well, it's perfect. God, those colors look so good on this camera. I'll get it boxed up and send you over tracking. All right, thanks, Nick.